Let's add some more look and feel as well, which I copied as well. The header style, the row style, and the alternating row style. Within the company grid view, we're going to add a select button. So we'll do ASP, command field, let's show select button equals true, and causes validation equals false. As well, within the company grid view, we're going to add on selected index changed. We're going to call it company grid view underscore selected index changed. So let's go into our code behind default.aspx.cs and we're going to need to add support for the list collection. So we'll put using system.collections.generic. Now let's add our company grid view selected index changed event. Be protected void object sender event arcs e I'm gonna get the, the company ID equals company grid view dot selected row dot cells zero dot text dot two string. So let's call the get company products that we created in our data access component. I'm going to put it within a try catch. Oops. Let's create a list of our product list. And that equals to company DAC dot get company products and let's pass it company ID. And we'll set the values to company product grid view dot data source equals product list and company product grid view dot data bind and selected index equals negative one. And let's run it. So we select company one and there are the parts. Company two. In part four we're going to add select capabilities to the company product grid view. We're going to display the age of a part in a label and we're going to check if the value is null before adding it to the list collection. Now we're going to add select capabilities to the company product grid view so we can select a part and then find out the age of the part. So let's open our default.aspx file. Scroll down to our company product grid view. And let's add on selected index changed equals we're going to create another 
method that it will be called underscore selected index changed. Let's add the select button. Select link, excuse me. And for look and feel, let's add the selected row style. We can go and cut and paste that from the from the company grid view. And paste it here into the company product grid view. Let's add a label that we're going to show the product age with. So now let's go into our code behind and create the company product grid view selected index change method. Let me protect it. Void. To make sure we get the name right, let's go and cut and paste from here. It's going to be object sender event args e and this method is going to call the get part age method which is in our product list class and it requires a creation date and the current date so let's get those let's get those values creation date equals date time dot parse Company product grid view dot selected row dot sales four dot text and date time current date date time dot now. Let's get our part ID so we can give the user a friendly message equals dot selected row dot cells text. Let's create an instance of our class PL equals new product list. And product age equals PL dot get part age. And we're going to pass it creation date, comma, current date. And then now let's give the user a nice message. So product age label dot text equals product part ID is product age dot two string 